In this video I'm going to show you how to properly cut your polycryo ground sheet so it fits the footprint of your sleeping pad. Let's go. Okay, so I haven't actually I haven't actually planned any of this video. I'm just like going to lay down all the polycryo here and show you exactly how it's done. I've got my sleeping pad, I've got a pair of scissors. Uh, I don't usually go for this polycryo ground sheet. Usually it's the duck brand one. Um, so I'm just testing this one out. It might not be as good as the duck brand one. Um, but yeah, it's good to know how to properly cut your ground sheet so you can get the most out of what's in this box. Firstly, what is a polycryo ground sheet? It's basically an ultra thin piece of kind of plastic film uh, that's actually used for uh, thermo treating windows and things like that. But I never use it for that. You're supposed to get a heat gun and uh, or, a, or an air dryer or something like that. But what most ultralight backpackers use it for is as a ground sheet because it's a really lightweight, really thin, Thin, really packable uh, alternative to like say a Tyvek sheet or one of those heavy duty green <laughs> things that I used to use so uh, yeah it's a good thing to have I'll put a link in the description to the one that I'm using and the one that I'm used to uh, so you can check that out and give it a whirl yourself but um, yeah for this video I'm just going to show you everything from start to finish <laughs> Okay, so now that it's all laid out, I've put objects in each corner to stop it blowing away. But you can see this thing is massive. It's probably like three and something meters long by about two meters wide, which is just perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the best way to do this, and that is to get your sleeping pad of choice, blow it up and put it on top of the polycryo. <laughs> of course, so now that the sleeping pad's all blowing up, I'm just gonna grab you over here and I'm gonna lay it down on top of the polycryo. Okay, so now we've got the pad on top of the polycryo. You can actually see that after we've cut this thing out, I'm definitely gonna get about four uses out of this for a single person tent. For a two person tent, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But what you wanna do is when you're lining this thing up on the polycryo, you wanna give it about, I don't know, four or five, maybe six inches around the edge. And then what you do is you basically cut another four or five or six inches around that edge. And while it's not the exact same measurement as the footprint of your tent, that doesn't matter because all the polycryo you need is the section where all of your weight's gonna be distributed and that is primarily going to be on the pad. So you don't need any more than that. Okay, now we're all laid out, all lined up. I'm just gonna put the camera down and start cutting. <music> Cool, as you can see, that is now perfectly cut to the size. You want a little bit of bleed because you don't want the um, bottom of the sleeping mat to come off the polycry. You want just a little bit of extra room just so that you're not sliding off it. And as you can see, because of the already pre-cut width of this sheet of polycry, it's um, already ready to go for the second one. So I just need to make one more cut. I've got two wonderfully cut, perfectly sized bits of polycry, boom. So I'll just make that final cut now. There you go, so that's two sheets perfectly done. And what we've ended up with is the perfect size for a two-person tent. So it's pretty much, if not a little bit shorter than these, but it's wide enough for a two-person tent. And again, the actual tent can come off of here quite a bit especially if it's one of those bathtub style floors, because all you're gonna need the footprint for is uh, whatever's in the middle, and that's gonna be your two sleeping pads. Okay, so let's take a closer look at how much uh, these things weigh. So now I've cut these pieces out. This is what the uh, one person sheet weighs, and as you can see, it's very light. And this is what the two person sheet weighs. It's also very light compared to like a Tyvek or something similar, or one of those really thick green ones. You're saving ounces, pounds. <laughs> Some of these things get really heavy and really expensive. This cost me, I think, about 14 quid on Amazon. The other one uh, actually used to cost me a fiver, but they've also stopped selling them or put them up ridiculously high in price. As you can see, this stuff is pretty much like a really thin plastic. I mean, the Duck brand one is pretty, it's a lot more kind of scrunchy and noisy and crinkly, whereas this one's a little bit more forgiving and a little bit stretchier. So maybe this will work out better. I don't know, maybe the other one was lighter. I've never weighed that one, but as you see, this one is uh, really good quality. 
it's just a thin sheet of plastic really and it's just enough to protect the bottom of your tent. So there you go everyone, that's how you properly cut your polycryo ground sheet, just to the perfect size of your sleeping mattress or mattresses, depending on whether you've got a one person or a two person tent. Catfire question, which ground sheet do you use and why? Let the trail hunter community know in the comments section below, we would really love to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching this video, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it, and I'll see you in the next one.